Hello Earth Signs. Welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you a weekend read. We're going to dive on into the Wild Unknown Tarot and just see what messages are coming through for you in the upcoming weekend. This is for entertainment purposes only guys and this reading is intended for all Earth Signs. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn and if you do enjoy this reading guys if the messages that are coming through are resonating for you by all means feel free to leave behind a like share and subscribe here today we've got two cards already coming through for you we're going to draw another two cards um, if you would like to work with me, all the details on how to work and connect with me will be in the show more section below. I'm also over on other platforms. Um, feel free to follow me on those platforms, guys. Okay. And we're going to just have one more card coming through. So far we've got the Judgment card. We've got the Six of Wands and the Hermit. You may be dealing with a Virgo. The Hermit may speak to you, Virgo, and we'll see how all this reading unfolds in a moment. We're just going to get one more card. Okay, so the, I'm going to begin reading the cards as I continue to shuffle and wait for a card to come through. But we've got the Judgment here starting off your reading. Okay, so I feel like there may be some kind of an announcement coming through over the upcoming weekend you may also feel the desire or the drive or the pull to maybe just open up and speak your truth on something here you may have clearly decided on something and you want to let people know about it over the upcoming weekend okay you may be calling judgment you may be feeling judged you may be judging others at this time um, but whatever this judgment call is I do feel like it's going to be a big weight that's lifted off of your shoulders, okay? I feel like you've kept silent on this for quite some time because I'm seeing all of this dark energy down here and that kind of just feels like, it feels like a dark cupboard or a dark closet. Maybe it's something that you've been dealing with privately, okay? And um, it, the, in the upcoming weekend, it feels like it's it's time. You're ready to no longer just deal with this on your own. Maybe you're ready to let the world know what this is. You're ready to let your family know. You're ready to let your partner know. I just feel like there's a coming out of the closet, so to speak. And just there's a sense of freedom and liberation coming through. Uh, with this judgment card and I feel like you're going to be okay okay um, I feel like you're going to be okay and we can even if we're moving along here we've got the six of wands typically this card speaks to success this card speaks to a victorious outcome now I feel like you've undergone some major major changes okay the butterfly would tell me that you have transformed or you're going through some changes, but you're coming out. You've gone through some kind of a metamorphosis process. And you, as a result, I feel like it's working in your favor. These changes, whatever changes you have undergone, um, yeah, I, I'm feeling like I'm hearing spreading your wings, okay? You're, you're spreading your wings here. You may be breaking free from something that had you held back. Maybe you were in fear, um, but it's like, it's like you're a different person or maybe you've undergone some kind of identity, like a change in identity. So it's like people will look at you and go, wow, is that you? Like, you look so different. Maybe you've gone through a physical change, okay? Maybe you, you've, you're changing your hair or you've, you're changing your physical appearance. But when we go through changes, you glow differently. And I'm seeing over the weekend that you're really, really glowing differently, guys. 
I feel like whatever this judgment call is, I feel like you will really get the attention of others. I feel like you may, for some of you, you're really going to draw in a lot of attention around you. Okay, again, like I said, if you're making physical changes to your appearance or your body in some way, like definitely people are going to notice this. For others of you, maybe it's a spiritual change. You're, you're undergoing some kind of a spiritual change or you've been through that spiritual change. Okay, um, and again, other people are going to feel it and notice it. Okay, uh, whatever you're going for here, um, it's been through, it's been through your own hard work, like whatever you're achieving here, it's, it's, it's well deserved is what I want to say, because you've worked hard to get this. Okay, maybe you're receiving some kind of an award or some kind of appraisal or praise from others. You know, this is like a pat on the back, a job well done. A job well done, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, well done. You know, this is a round of applause from others congratulating you. You may be receiving a lot of accolades and um, compliments at this over the weekend as well. With the Hermit card here, I feel like you're standing out, okay? This is a stand out energy. This is an energy of an earth sign that's saying, hey, I'm willing to go it alone. I'm willing to just honor my soul and break away from tradition or break away from the crowd or, you know, um, yeah, this is going solo. The hermit is going solo. The hermit doesn't fear being on his own. Okay, the hermit doesn't fear standing out from the crowd. Because why? Because he's feeling aligned. He's going within. He's, he's listening to his internal voice. Which is his soul. Which is his spirit. Which is his intuition. Okay, the hermit is very intuitive. He's very plugged in. And you will feel very plugged in over this upcoming weekend. For others of you, this speaks to retreat. Okay, this speaks to retreat. Maybe taking some time out to go away and just be with yourself. This is introspection. This is like achieving some kind of level here. You know, getting to uh, whatever point in your life that you, whatever goal, this is this is reaching that goal, reaching a level of success. And then this is a period of, okay, I need to retreat over this upcoming weekend because I need to reflect, I need to review, and I need to recollect, work out what has and hasn't worked and where I'm going from here, moving forward. Okay, so this is just a period of rest and reflection so you can go again. Okay. We've also got the Seven of Swords here. I mean, this can speak to deception and secrecy. I mean, there may be someone around you here. If someone has withdrawn from you, and isn't speaking to you it could be that this person excuse me it could be that this person is hiding something from you okay maybe they're just not ready to be open and honest to you about something that they're going through here um i feel like this person may be in their head because swords does speak to the mind it speaks to thought it speaks to logic for others of you, maybe you just need to break away from the crowd to just be with your thoughts. Okay. And if that's the case, it could be because you are not willing to maybe confront someone here or, or maybe you're just like, I don't want to really have to deal with that situation or that person right now. So I'm just going to retreat. I'm going to take myself away and just be 
by myself because for some of you I'm hearing that you rather do that than um, have to like speak up about something here okay or if this is not you this is someone else okay this is someone else that you may be dealing with maybe around work um, yeah and I just feel like this person's just laying on the low low because they just don't want to have to deal with whatever it is okay um just also to guys just be aware of any self-deception um self-deceit self-deception i mean we all have the ability to lie to ourselves so i feel like over the weekend this could just be you really you know taking a good look at yourself in the mirror and just asking yourself am i being truthful and honest with myself about this relationship or about this situation so this is just yeah it's just about getting honest with yourself maybe calling yourself out here um just really looking at where you're not totally being truthful with yourself as opposed to others okay so um i mean for example where are you saying yes when you really mean no okay so you know you're saying yes to people please or to appease others but you're not being really in alignment with yourself with especially when deep down inside you really don't feel like it and you really just want to say no but if you say no you'll feel guilty okay so that's just an example to try and explain the energy that I'm feeling from a from this card okay um the hermit speaks to virgo as well so uh for for you virgo this could be your energy here just feeling the need to just be by yourself over the weekend maybe just to stay indoors maybe do a little bit of journal work or some kind of healing work um For others of you, Virgo is um, Virgo is self-critical and can be a bit of a perfectionist. So maybe just sort of reflecting and reviewing and looking at yourself and going, okay, where am I judging myself harshly? Okay, because we've got the judgment card here and we've got the hermit card here. So where are you being hard on yourself? Where are you putting too much expectation on yourself and just really calling that out for others of you um i sense that there may be someone deceptive around you uh this person may uh like you may just be sensing that someone is kind of like just tiptoeing around you okay you may be sensing that someone isn't being 100 percent honest with you here okay you're just going to sense it i don't know if you'll if you'll catch them in the act but i'm sort of just getting the sense that you'll sense it because the hermit is very intuitive okay and it's and it's right next to the seven of swords so i just feel like this is something that you're going to sense especially if this person is acting different around you you're just going to sense it so there we have it guys i hope you enjoyed this reading and until next time take care